Kate's in the background like, I actually hate no. you. Well, I also cry for other reasons, but like, we don't need to talk about that. I don't need to talk about that. I'm not to name names or anything, but. Steven, with his 92 questions. <laughs> How are you a <laughs> Yes, next question. <laughs> Who inspired you to start vlogging? I've been watching YouTube for basically eight years and I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel But I just didn't think anyone would watch me. I was like who's gonna watch me vlog my life Apparently people do so thanks and also just my passion for video production also inspired me to start vlogging I've always wanted to like integrate that into my life at Stanford here. Who are your closest friends that you have made at Stanford? Well, not my roommate, obviously. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're not close at all. No, um, no we hate each other. Clearly, clearly. Um, well, if you guys haven't noticed by now, um, Kate, my roommate, Kate's in the background like, I actually hate no. you. And Steven, who you guys have seen, Steven and I met before we even actually got to Stanford. We have been talking for almost a year now, actually, which is crazy. There's so many. I don't want to like list them because I feel like every single friend that I've made has just like a significance in my life. I love you all so much. You guys have seen probably my closest friends on the vlogs. Um, and if you haven't, it's weird. I don't know why I haven't vlogged them. Do you get homesick? Not as, mu not as much as I thought I would. I thought I would be like crying every single day because I missed home. The first couple weeks were definitely hard. First and second week especially were very hard. I was crying, but you get used to it. You know, I love home, but this is definitely my life now. And I'm just learning to embrace it. You also cry for other reasons. <laughs> I also cry for other reasons, but like... Mm -mm. We don't need to talk about that. I don't need to talk about that. <laughs> what are your top five things that you've brought to college that are super helpful? Top five things? Kettle! Kettle? <laughs> Tea kettle! Scissors? <laughs> scissors. I love um, scissors. A, a hanging shower caddy. Well, just my things are just like for my filming things. So my tripod, my ring light. I don't the know. Microwave? The, the microwave. The microwave and the fridge cart that you guys saw in one of the videos. Kate the Kilder, Kate the Craftswoman. Carlos A. Alcantar says, how do you manage your time? She doesn't. I don't. Again, like I said, I basically schedule a set time for school, schedule a set time for YouTube and anything else that I have to do. I make a to-do list every single day. It's on my phone. I have so many to-do lists on my phone. The most satisfying thing is having all those boxes checked off because then I like, I know what I need to do for today. You can eat. <laughs> you can eat. I don't know, just find a good balance. Find the thing, find your priorities because my priority yesterday was take out the trash and I did that. Jazzeline Daliwal says, can you please elaborate a little more on how the dorm life is in Stanford University? I only know mine specifically, but our dorm is only 88 people. So it's a pretty small dorm compared to a lot of other dorms on campus, but it's very like tight knit. I hang out with people mostly from my dorm. If anything, I feel like we're in a bubble of like dorm bubbles because you only really hang out with the people that like you live with. Definitely a very close knit community. I feel like it's very chill. Same person says, what are your thoughts on Palo Alto? My thoughts on Palo Alto? Uh, expensive? <laughs> um, I mean, I haven't gone out to Palo Alto very often. I, I think it's beautiful. I haven't been out very much. University Avenue is great though. Christine Ayag says, what is the hardest part of adjusting into a new environment slash university? The hardest part for me was more personal things. The most difficult thing that I had to adjust to was accepting the fact that some people in your life are only meant to be in certain chapters. And when they're no longer in your life, definitely an adjustment when you have been around them for so long and when you are kind of used to them being there for you and now they're not. Um, cause some people, <laughs> some people say they won't be there for you and then they forget you exist. So, um, point is, I guess my biggest difficulty is just accepting the fact that some people just just aren't meant to be in your life forever and that's okay because you'll meet new people make new friends make new relationships that you'll cherish you'll cherish a lot she's being mysterious <sighs> i'm not to name names or anything but <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding anyway <laughs> moving on moving on moving on, on. oreo riley o2 says oh okay what was your favorite class this quarter com 104 Com 104 is my favorite class. I'm so glad you asked that. Com 104 was my favorite class. It's called Reporting, Writing, and Understanding the News. It was taught by a former editor of the Washington Post, and he was a phenomenal professor. I loved him so much. Every single class, I felt like I learned something new, and I haven't felt that in a really long time. So every single time we had either a guest speaker or he would lecture us, it was just like, I felt like I was gaining so much knowledge about journalism, the journalism field, opportunities that I could get in journalism. So 
we had guest speakers from LA Times, Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, very highly respected news outlets and it was just an amazing experience and would highly recommend to anyone at Stanford. Sugar Umbra says, <laughs> actually this is not a question though, I just want to say I'm in love with your style and paint. Oh, thank you! I, wow, the one day I'm not wearing pink. <laughs> thank you for thinking of good style. And thank you for loving pink. That's clearly my brand. Stephanie V334 goes, what was your GPA when applying to Stanford? My weighted was 4.9 or 4.8. My unweighted was a 3.95. I, I don't know. <laughs> I included it in my stats video, actually. But then I graduated with 5.0 weighted. Steven asked. My Steven? Yes. Oh, okay. it says, time to close Instagram. You've reached your one hour, 10 minutes total time. <laughs> okay, ignore limit for today. Steven, with his 19 questions. <laughs> oh my God. The first one is, is Stanford everything you've ever wanted? Everything I've ever wanted and more, I feel like. It's a dream to be here. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. How much do you hate power? I, <laughs> for any future Stanford people who are watching this, power can kind of drain the power out of your body. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> what? What did that man ask me? You're not gonna include it. How are you? <laughs> Steven! Steven! No! <laughs> oh my god. In conclusion, I'm great. Thanks for asking, Steven. I really appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> One glow, aka something you're proud of, one grow and something you want to improve. I'm proud that I've been very independent. Um, I feel like I've never been as independent before in my life and I'm very proud of myself for figuring it out basically on my own. And something I can improve, I don't know, my sleep schedule. It's always something <laughs> yeah. I can improve. Rate the Stanford food out of 10. It depends on the day. On the days where it's like very decent, sometimes 10 out of 10, it really depends. Sometimes chicken katsu at Wilbur slaps. But I haven't tried all the dining halls yet, and we should go to Lakeside for dinner after this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How do you always seem, probably, so energetic and happy in person and in your videos? This is genuinely just my personality, so I don't even realize that it's like like on and off camera. I've been told that I am basically ex exactly the same on camera as I am off. So if y'all think I'm a crackhead on camera, I'm also a crackhead off camera. Am I outgoing? Very like... Mm -hmm. I like, I don't know, I like talking to people, I like talking to people, um, the fact that I'm here makes me very happy. What is your least favorite moment at Stanford? Grappling with loss at Stanford. I went through some pers very personal losses, um, so that was definitely very difficult, but people like Kate <laughs> got me through it, so dealing with very personal issues far away from home was very difficult. What is the meaning of life? 42. Good answer. Mm -hmm. Then we just have, can I put this? Can they see it? Oh no, they can't. Oh. Well, we have, put me in the vid. I'm your biggest fan. Am I in the video yet? Mom, do you see me? Is college that much tougher than high school? Is that Steven still? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> He's still going. Yes, college is hard, especially at Stanford. Just manage your time. <laughs> Next one from Steven. How do I get into Stanford? <laughs> I don't know, bro. You tell me. You tell me. What's a hidden talent you have? Well, I guess the vlog doesn't see me sing very much. <laughs> the vlog? Hello! Oh, oh, hey! hey. How, How do you feel? How you was here? Pam? It was no bueno, but I'm done. <laughs> You're, You're done! done. <laughs> Congratulations! You're still filming, right? Um, hidden talent? Um. What's your deepest secret? <laughs> Next question. Don't even know my deepest secret. That's how have, deep it is. You have 15 seconds. Tell us the first story that pops into your head. Go. Um, what? When I was really sad, Kate held me while I cried. That's not true. <laughs> No, you Seven, did. When? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she held me while I cried, and it was very mm -hmm. nice because it was good to have comfort in that moment. And she's great, and that was, I don't know why that was the first yeah. thing, but there we go. Yeah, I don't know why yeah. that was meanwhile, I'm like, that's a lie. <laughs> Steven says, what's a Q&A? Oh my god, Steven, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Good luck with the vid. Hi, YouTube. Okay, you're, you're done, Steven. Goodbye. TCQlo says, 
I watch your YouTube videos and they are so good. Keep going. A little crown emoji. Oh, that wasn't a. Oh, that wasn't a question. It was just like that. Oh, that's very sweet. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. A Soul Zero says your first impression of your roommate. We can save that for actually. We're gonna save all the roomy questions for our roomy Q and A. Mahalakshmi says, "What is Stanford's best tradition?" I feel like fountain hopping is the one I've enjoyed the most. You know who didn't enjoy fountain hopping? People who must not be named. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Alicia M seventy two says, "What is meaningful to you and why?" Meaningful to me is family and friendships. They get you through a lot of things. And um, having people who are there to support you and love you at your happiest and at your lowest um, can make all the difference. It, could you explain the process of how you got into Stanford? I have a video on that actually. I'll link it. Can we expect financial aid in Stanford? Yeah, you can. And that's it! That's it for Instagram. <laughs> okay, now these are the YouTube questions. YouTube questions. Oh my god, I'm just on so many platforms. Uh, so many platforms. So many platforms. Daniela says, is there any difficulties you've been experiencing these days or in the past few months at Stanford? I love you. I love you too, Daniela. Difficulties, I touched upon this earlier. Personally, just kind of like realizing that, you know, some people in your life aren't always meant to be in your life forever. And that's okay. You just have to make new memories, make new relationships, and appreciate what you have now. Tristy says, I had so many questions but now my mind is completely blank. I love your videos so much, especially Vlogmas. I've been a subscriber for more than five months now. Love oh, you, Janelle. Oh, I yes. love you too. Who was that? Tristy? Tristy. Oh, I think I know. I know your comments, actually. I've seen you comment on a lot of videos. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Harshini Bandari says, Hey, Janelle, I love your videos. My question is, what is the nightlife party life scenario at Stanford? Are people always studying like Stanford is known for it? Here are all the juicy, here for all the juicy details. Stanford students definitely know how to have fun. We definitely know when it's time to kind of just like not worry about school for a little bit. <laughs> the party scene depends. It really depends. Uh, I don't know how much I want to share. We know how to have fun. We're not just nerds. We might seem like it, but we're not always. <laughs> Same person. Are the classes really competitive or more easygoing than you expected? The classes aren't competitive but they're hard. I, I wouldn't call any of them competitive because everyone there is so supportive, but you just have to, just have to manage your time. Hi Janelle, my question is, what degree are you pursuing currently and what are your future plans? Pursuing a bachelor's degree in communications and I hope to be a journalist in the future. Hmm. What are your weekends like? Do you have time to have a happening social life or is it staying in and completing your week's worth? Oh, I definitely try to get my week's worth done before I go out. I try to have lots of fun on the weekends because I feel like weekends are truly meant for your breaks. They're meant for you to have fun. You're, they're meant for you to, you know, experience things. And um, I try to do my work during the week so I can have a free weekend. So yeah. How do you manage your studies and all the clubs slash extracurriculars that you're a part of? Make a to-do list, make a calendar, list all the things that you need to do for the day, have it all scheduled out, and always make time for self-care too. Adriana Asanian says, Hi, I'm your new subscriber and I want to ask, what is your motivation in college? Hope you answer. Motivation in college is my parents. I just want to make them proud. So my motivation is to just keep making them proud and do the best I can and do what I'm passionate about. Chris Shorts asked four questions. One, what were your honors and awards? I have a video on that. Link below. <laughs> Two, are national awards like Olympiads and all necessary? No, because no. Because clearly you don't, I don't know, know what it is. No, you <laughs> Definitely don't know. Definitely not. No. Is YouTube channel and startup a good extracurricular? And a startup. Um, I wouldn't say YouTube is a good extracurricular for like applications, but I mean a startup is pretty cool. You have to just do things you're passionate about. I can't tell you what good extra what a good extracurricular is other than do what you're passionate about. The next one is what GPA is best for Stanford. You definitely have to have very decent grades. So. I don't think there's a requirement. I think it's all taken in context. They're all but... taken in context, but uh, mostly A's. Last question was, is, is the Stanford bubble real? The Stanford bubble is real when you're a freshman and you don't have a car and you can't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's real when you uh, can't go anywhere without having to pay for transportation. Everything's honestly just a 10 minute bike. It's just Janelle doesn't like biking on those streets. And that's so that's definitely a prohibitive yeah. factor. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my gosh, those were so many questions. Well, thank you to every single person that submitted a question. That was crazy. I did not expect filming to take this long. Oh my gosh. Shout out to Kate for having to read every single one of those questions. I did not expect so many questions and they're all for my subscribers, which is like crazy. I and thought. Steven. And Steven. So anyways, thank you guys so much for submitting your questions. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and post notifications for more Vlogmas content. Hope you guys enjoyed me exposing myself. Oh my gosh. Some of y'all, some of y'all ask some juicy questions. Some juicy questions. Questions. Okay, we're gonna go get dinner now. Goodbye